God's language through nature's elements. I expect from you, my servants, a restless commitment for me and my kingdom, because of the requirement of the spiritual necessity of man. Just a short time is parting all of you of the last end, and what can happen to the saving of souls that should still be done, for the earth again will take in and absorb all, what failed as man, and it is a terrible lot, which I would like to spare any of you humans from. But you yourself will make the last decision with your free will. I for myself can do nothing further but by continuously addressing you with my warnings, and everyone who gives me support in this direction, will be blessed by me. Thus shall be the continuous mentioning of the near end inclusive, that I beforehand will obviously express myself through a grand nature event. My last admonition is, once I speak to man who will not hear my words through the elements of nature. But this language cannot be overheard, for man will stand horrified before an incomprehensible grand nature event, and no man will be spared in so far as, everywhere man lives the news will penetrate, that every individual personally feels spoken to, because he himself could be hit by the same event in his own homeland. For man will fear a repetition and therefore will have to be ready for a sudden demise, death, much sorrow and misery will have to pass over this earth. But yet it is only a remedy, which I apply out of love, to save the souls from destruction, from the horrible lot of captivity anew on this earth. But humans that will be hit by the nature events, those humans being its victims are not mercilessly given up to their fate, because of their premature ending of the life on earth. They will be granted a mercy care in the beyond they still will have the opportunity to climb in the heights, they have the chance to come to the light in the beyond, which they disregarded on earth. They don't have to fear the captivity in you unless they are too stubborn, that they are sinking into the depths as true devils incorrigible and therefore would have not changed for the better while still alive on earth. And also the effect onto the humans from the nature event will be different, then again people will turn to me in fear and as a result of the experienced rescue, will preserve to me loyalty, whereas the opposite will become obvious in the fall away from me, because one will not let stand the God of love who let happen such an event of destruction. For their dark spiritual position will not find another explanation for that event. But such a clear voice must sound from above, whether it will be recognized as my voice or not, for it is going with gigantic steps towards the end, even though only a few souls in trouble will find my way, it still will be of some gain, hence they are spared the long road through the creation of the earth but can enter the kingdom beyond, in which they too can reach an ascent, which would have been questionable on the earth. On the other hand it would have led with great probability towards the depth, or would have strived towards the depth, and I have to, lay it all before you, my servants, for you shall be forearmed, and you shall learn to watch the happenings around you from this side and you shall dedicate yourself totally to me and as my tools be continuously effective in my will. You should drop all your earthly thoughts, every, even the smallest, worry hand over to me. You must totally absorb yourself in your vineyard work, however always pay attention to my inner instructions. But over eagerness is causing harm where wisdom promotes all success and wisdom is always carried over to you, if you totally enter in my will, if you are only the executors of my will, and I know, that you, my servants, take your task serious, and that is why you continuously receive these directions, which you will feel in your hearts as my loving speech, to which you therefore will respond to, for the well-being of your fellow man. Oh if man would only know, what is about to happen to them. But they refuse to believe it, while it will be foretold to them, through the mouth of my prophets.
and they cannot be forced to believe. But the day is continuously moving closer, which will cause a total change to the living standard. And blessed, who will call on me in extreme distress, for I will hear him and hear his plea, thus he won't be lost forever. Amen.